hair tells a story. A hair is a, a bank of information that's conveyed both in humans and, and, and dolls. The process of making a doll wig is really the same as making a human wig. You have the foundation onto which you build the fibers. Now it could be a traditional wig with uh, hair wefts that you build onto it, or it could be a fine mesh foundation onto which you weave one hair at a time. I might start by just picking up a batch of goat hair and then bleaching it, dyeing it, coloring it, mixing it with other colors, you know, and then once I get the fiber, then I'll build the wig cap, if you will, and then depending if I'm using individual hairs or just gluing pieces of it. It could be the crudest, mo most uh, primitive technique that can give you a, a beautiful, wild effect, but it could be something very delicate and soft. There's something um, temporary and vulnerable about real hair, whereas synthetic it doesn't really need you. It, it's, if it's set one way, it stays that way. With the Lindsay doll, I'm using every single trick in the book. Like every wig is pretty much a different uh, technique than the other. I've always loved her work and her demeanor and her energy. And uh, she's a, a model that transforms, yet she retains her own self within whatever format she's put into. And I think she's a wonderful model, and I think it's an excellent choice. I'm very, really happy to be working with her through the doll. I don't find any, any limitations. You can do anything um, on a doll. It doesn't pretend to be natural. It, it's, it's a doll. It's a representation of a, of a human form.